What's up, Bear Heart Nation? How's it going out there? So I wanted to do something a little bit different with this video. Uh, I've been recording short stories, horror stories, and that kind of stuff lately, and I'm, I'm, obviously that's the main purpose of what I've been doing lately. But I wanted to do one of these videos where I just kind of chat with you all for a few minutes, just because I've got a few things to talk about, uh, a few things to mention, things that have been changing over the past few months, and so I just kind of wanted to get some of that out there. And I thought, what better place to do it than here in the Hawking Hill State Park, where I am currently at, <laughs> working on the project with this waterfall right behind me, actually. And speaking of this waterfall, uh, I've got something right here. Got a couple of things right here. <laughs> but we're going to start with uh, this right here is the postcard that just went out from March for Patreon. That's actually this waterfall. That's part of the project I'm working on. So if you're not aware, it, uh, patrons over there on Patreon get postcards mailed out every month, access to the short horror stories that I've been writing. Uh, I've been trying to pump those out at least once a month, sometimes twice. It, it's There's a lot going on, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. So let me put this back real quick. At the same time, I'm going to pull out something that I've been working on. It's been a, a, a long-term project, realistically a real heavy push in the past five or six months or so for it. And that is this right here. And this is something I am super proud of. This is the very first print copy of the journal. And it's a story that you can find, I think I've got the first five or six chapters that I've recorded and put on the channel here for people to kind of listen to. I want to eventually have the entire book covered. As opposed to releasing it as an ebook. what I figured I'd do instead is release it on YouTube as a kind of radio drama that I've been working on with different sound effects and music and stuff like that to kind of drive the story and, and kind of bring the story to life in a way that I couldn't otherwise do. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, some of those translates to the short horror stories that I've done as well that have kind of taken over recently on the channel. But this, this is the culmination of all of that effort. And I did an unboxing video when I first got this about two weeks ago over on Patreon. And that's exclusive for patrons. There are a few things over there that are exclusive for patrons. And things like unboxing of new books and that kind of stuff. So this is something that is available for purchase now. I will link down in the description I've got an ebook that's available on my website, and then I've got the print copy, which is available through Lulu. And then I'm also working on, so this is paperback, I've also got a hard copy, or a hardcover copy that I'm working on, that is supposed to come out sometime later this year. <laughs> There's a lot that goes into formatting a book. Um, so just a real brief summary, basically. This is a five by eight book. So it had to be formatted a specific way. And uh, you, you, know, you can see in here, the way, it's got, the way I've got it set up, new chapters, all that kind of stuff. So, but uh, the hardcover has to be six by nine. So I had to change some of the layout and the format and that kind of stuff. So I'm working on getting all of that done so that I can send it over to the printer and get the first uh, copy printed off to kind of make sure everything looks correct. Uh, on top of that, something else that I'm adding in with the hardcover is it's a special edition. There's gonna be an entire extra section in the back of the book that is going over basically a breakdown of everything that went into making this book a reality, um, as well as uh, basically an unedited chapter or an un, a cut chapter, I guess. <laughs> Not the full chapter. I started writing a chapter and I, I got a good chunk of the way in and then I was like, this just doesn't fit with where I have it in the book. So I cut it out and I wound up adding that into the special edition. And <laughs> one other thing that I haven't talked about yet I mentioned it on Patreon, but I haven't really brought it up outside of that very much. Uh, but I started working on a second novel. It's not related to the journal. It's actually going to be a completely separate thing. And <laughs> so there's going to be somewhere between the first half to the first chapter of that new book is going to be at the end of the hardcover edition of the journal. That edition is only going to be available for sale on the website. So, and, and it's only going to be a limited number. Basically, what I'm planning on doing is offering up probably about 100 copies as a limited edition. I'll, I'll do pre-orders first and then go from there, depending on how many people order it. But it's going to be a signed, dedicated, special edition, extra content, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of great stuff packed into it. And so that's going to be coming out later this year. I don't have a release date for it yet. Like I said, I've got to finish the formatting and stuff. But as soon as I have something on that, 
I will make an announcement here on the channel as well as over on Patreon. Realistically, Patreon is the biggest thing. If you want to help support me, if you if you enjoy some of the stuff that I've been doing, you like some of the short stories that I've written, some of the other content on the channel that is... I've got a bunch of stuff that I basically unlisted but still have it on, on the main channel. Like if you go to my channel page, you'll see a playlist of all kinds of different stuff from travel videos to cemetery chats. Just stuff I've been doing over the past two years almost now of this channel. If you like that kind of stuff, Patreon is a great way to help support me. That or the book club over on the website, which is a new thing that I've added in that basically allows you to sign up for $4.99 a month to get access to all of my short stories as well as to get a postcard mailed out every single month. So I kind of wanted to, to bind that in with Patreon in a way. If you're on Patreon, you get access to all that stuff anyway. If you don't like Patreon, maybe you just don't want to sign up over there, but you still want to help support in some way, either buying the book, either an ebook or paperback form, or signing up for the book club over on the website. Either of those things will go a long way to help support this channel, help to support me. I've got a lot of great stuff I'm working on, and so <laughs> that's all coming down the pipe. Now let me put this away real quick. So the last thing I kind of wanted to talk about was just basically what's been going on the past few months because for a while I was uploading a lot of stuff I was doing the Legends and Tales stuff I've got the cryptids <laughs> cryptid series that I got started on that kind of so I've been working on all of that and then the past probably three or four months as I've been really pushing on the on the book and going through the holidays and everything I haven't been doing as much here on this channel I did a few cemetery chats with the weather changing and stuff like that I kind of had to back off of those as the weather's starting to get nicer it's it's coming spring <laughs> we're in early march as, I, as i'm recording this so it, it's spring is on its way the weather's starting to get better so i'm gonna plan on getting the cemetery chats re-rolling because there's a lot of stuff i want to talk about the streaming stuff i was streaming for a while i was doing gaming and putting all that kind of stuff up on a, a separate streaming channel i still have some stuff i want to do with that i just haven't been in the mood to stream lately <laughs> and a lot of that has just because just be, because life has been crazy uh, essentially, my my oldest daughter started a job, so she's been getting into that and working. I've been trying to teach her to drive too because she's 16. She's trying to get her driver's license, that kind of stuff, uh, as well as sports and all this other stuff on the side. But the other two kids have been doing different activities and, and that kind of stuff, uh, working on the book. And then I started back in school on February 1st. I started my first term at... <laughs> at, at Cool. I'm going back for my business degree in marketing so I've got all of that going on and that's been taking up a ton of time but on the side I've also been trying to blog I've also been trying to promote the book so and of course home activity because I've got stuff that I'm doing around the house because basically basically I'm at home most of the time I work from home so, so I'm trying to integrate in all of the stuff that I do around the house and with work and trying to figure all that it's just been a nuts it's been a crazy schedule but it's been good. It's meant slowing down a little bit on some of the content that I've been making, but realistically, I don't want to be making content just to be making content. My goal in the long run is to be writing stories, taking photos, things that people want. So I want to, I, I've got a print for sale on the website. It's actually the waterfall photo. The one that, the, the postcard, <laughs> I've got that for sale on the website as a print. And what I'm doing moving forward, and I'm slowly going to be integrating more of these as we go, but they're limited edition prints. So essentially, for the waterfall print, there's only five available. They're going to be numbered, and they're going to be signed. So basically, <laughs> when somebody orders it, I have a printer that I go through that I make an order, get it printed, get shipped to me, I check it to make sure everything's good, I sign it, I number it, and then I ship it off. And they're all individually, you know, that's why they're limited edition. So there's only five of each print that I'm going to be releasing over the coming next few months. I, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what prints I want to use, whether I want to dig into some of my older stuff, or just make it all exclusively new stuff. So I've got all of that going on as well, but that's where like I, I'm trying to create things that are artistic style that the people are going to enjoy, to hang up in their house, to sit down and read as a, as a, as a book or whatever. <laughs> so I've got all of that stuff. The more that I can create artistically, 
the more I can get out there and the better I feel about it because realistically when I first started this channel I was doing a whole bunch of just pumping out as much as I possibly could and I found over time that that quantity and trying to bend to the YouTube algorithms will basically the stuff that people tell you all the time you know fast cuts have jump cuts and do all this kind of crazy stuff and you have to be constantly moving I didn't like that and it really wasn't doing good for the channel so realistically moving forward I want to do some more of these kind of chats not on a regular basis but I do want to sit down whenever I go out to a place like this and just kind of chat with you guys about different various things having to do with maybe it'll be business stuff or maybe it'll be photography or writing those kind of things in a beautiful location like this kind of you know opposite of the cemetery chats you know a nice beautiful location as opposed to a cemetery not that cemeteries aren't beautiful but you get the point and you know maybe throw in some other stuff from now here and there like some more travel stuff i love doing the travel stuff i've had the chance to travel a lot uh, but we did go uh, a couple weeks ago to tennessee and we went down the smoky mountains i got some awesome shots from down there so i want to kind of get into more of that kind of stuff and maybe doing a travel video every couple of months where we go someplace local it doesn't have to be far away but just something where i can get out get out in nature go hiking talk to you guys hang out have a good time play some music because i love playing music over <laughs> things music is music is my soul okay I, I can't sing i can't play an instrument but music is my soul so i think that's all i've got i just wanted to make this video i think it's a little bit longer than i meant it to be yeah it's not too bad we're under 12 minutes still so it's not bad but i wanted to kind of make this and, and talk to you guys and get something out there that was a little bit different there is going to be another horror story coming out i released it on patreon and on the website in written form i've got to record it and edit it still to put out on youtube so it's going to be coming very soon and it has to do with geocaching so keep an eye out for that if uh if you aren't subscribed already and you made it all the way through the video and my channel sounds like something you enjoy. Hey, why not hit the subscribe button? I would really appreciate it. I'm trying really hard to get to at least 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Ideally, eventually, I would like to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark. But well, I'm going to set my, realist, my expectations more realistic. I'd like to get to at least 500 subscribers by the end of the year through various means. So hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button to let the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoy the video. Leave a comment down below letting me know... Uh, have you ever written a book? Do you, what kind of stories do you like to read? Or do you like photography? You know, what kind of stuff do you like to do? I'm just, I'm interested to see what, what you out there <laughs> enjoy doing to kind of counter the stuff that I enjoy doing, which is writing and hiking and, and photography. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Everybody have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Well, maybe it was fate when you walked in the door. I could have sworn I've seen your face before So glad that you said hi Cause I was way too shy What would have happened if you just had passed me by the night We keep on drinking